Stop the torture! Stop the pain! Tyson Slaughterhouse is to blame! Stop the torture! Stop the pain! Tyson Slaughterhouse is to blame! We're outside of Tyson Massive Factory Farm Slaughterhouse in Sherman, Texas. We've had four police come out. The Herald Democrat just came out. And we've got more press coming out right now. So we're definitely getting honks of support, thumbs up of support, lots of support from the employees and the community here in Sherman. The police just came and left and said, all right, as long as y'all are standing on the side of the road, y'all have a great day. And every single one of them left. So it's going to be a really great day. It's already kicked off to an amazing start. Animals live on their right. We have just been done so we are in Sherman, Texas, outside of the uh, Tyson Slaughterhouse plant, and we are uh, letting the community know that this uh, Tyson Slaughterhouse has been a source of COVID infections. You know, just to you know, raise awareness, you know, whether it be passerbys on the freeway or, you know what I'm saying, employees that's been died over this COVID-19 thing. People here just want to raise awareness on what's going on here because there's so many people who are infected. I think it was 300 people that were infected here with COVID and they kept the plant open. We're protesting for animal liberation and for safety conditions for the workers. This slaughterhouse that we're at has been responsible for 326 employee cases of coronavirus. They are spreading coronavirus into at least five neighboring Texas County and even the state of Oklahoma has had cases of coronavirus traced to this facility in Sherman, Texas. This place should be shut down entirely. Shut down forever, as a matter of fact, because the environmental destruction that this place is causing is is unimaginable. Tyson Slaughterhouse is to blame. Tyson Slaughterhouse is to blame. Tyson Slaughterhouse is to blame. Point system if they call in sick and eventually puts in their dogs. Many employees from Tyson have been thanking us for being here. They're very excited and telling us that we're doing an amazing job. And it's important for people to understand that it's not just animals that suffer in a slaughterhouse. It's a human rights violation as well as a public health issue. We need to transition to a plant-based meat system to where we don't get zoonotic diseases from exploiting animals. Eating animals cause COVID. Killing animals is extreme. Go vegan. Retrain workers to make plant-based meat. Animal liberation, human liberation. Meat is murder for animals and workers. Human slaughter is alive. Human slaughter is alive. Human slaughter is alive. The novel coronavirus known as COVID-19 is a zoonotic disease, meaning that it stems from human contact with animals. Almost every pandemic that we had recently, whether it be SARS, MERS, swine flu, bird flu, mad cow disease, comes from humans either eating or using animals. So they take these animals, right? And the slaughterhouse, they kill them, and they put them in the refrigerator trucks to take them over, and they have to cut the choices of meat out that you want when they're pre-packaged for that. So that's where they take them to the processing plant. But if you think the amount of time since the death that they take them to those plants to be processed is such a long amount of time, would you really let your food sit out for that long? Mass killing of animals. It's disgusting, it's awful, it's violence, it's horrible for the animals and for the humans. I went vegan over three years ago because I believe that animals do not deserve to be treated the way humans exploitate them. I am an animal rights activist, so I care that we're killing billions of animals uh, just to continue the tradition of, of eating their body parts as food. And I, I care deeply for uh, the, the suffering and exploitation that humans inflict on animals. And now it is, it's not only causing suffering for animals, it's causing suffering for humans. I am here because I believe Tyson needs to smarten up Let's go! Let's go! Stop the torture! Stop the pain! Tyson Slaughterhouse is the blame! It's not food! It's violent! It's not food! It's violent!
you, I went around to the back gate, and it's funny, they have a sign up on that side, and it says, thanks to you working, America gets to eat. But if you really think about that, if we're gonna keep open uh, some something like this, are we gonna keep everything else open? No, we didn't. We shut down the country so that we can keep people safe. take our photo and going back in they're coming out going back in they're recording us you deserve to work a safe and healthy job 324 of your co-workers coming down with covid that's not acceptable slaughterhouses around the world are not protecting their employees you deserve to work a better job than stabbing animals to death and cutting them up eating animals is not essential not only is it not essential, it's putting our public health at risk. It's putting your lives at risk. You deserve to work a better job than killing animals. And now the Earth's population has grown so big that yes, we do have to support ourselves with a large amount of food, but it's straining the Earth's resources more to use animal products rather than to switch to a plant-based diet. And hopefully they realize Walmart that's here in town has some great vegan sausages and vegan burgers and even cheese and all kinds of delicious stuff. And a lot of the foods that you already eat are probably plant-based. So we want you to go vegan for your health and for the workers' rights and for the animals as well. Retrain the workers to make plant-based meats. We want you to keep your jobs in a safe way where you can make plant-based meats that aren't contributing to global pandemics. They aren't contributing to the number one killer of human beings, heart disease. Protein comes from plants. We can get just every nutrient uh, comes from the earth, and we can get the, our protein from the plants just like the animals get their protein from plants. Well, you know, it's funny that a lot of people talk about how you can get a nutrient deficiency from being vegan, but I know a lot of people who aren't even vegan, they're not vegetarian, they're just a normal person, right? They have an omnivoric diet and they're nutrient deficient themselves. So it's all about what you want to pay attention to. Are you going to go and get the right resources for your nutrients? Do you actually know where it's coming from? You can get plenty of protein on a vegan diet. You just need to look at the facts online, get some lentils, beans, tofu, greens, anything. Whenever we eat animals, we are putting our health at risk. Heart disease, diabetes, cancer that comes from eating animals. We want you to work a safe, healthy job in a way that doesn't contribute to negative health in human beings. Killing animals is killing us. Stop the torture! Stop the pain! Poison slaughterhouse needs to play! Stop the torture! Stop the pain! Poison slaughterhouse needs to play! Quit killing animals and quit killing the American people. We come here today, today to demand that this executive order be reversed to save animal lives, worker lives, and American lives. Shut down!
by buying the products at the store, you're essentially paying the workers to kill the animals for you. And if it is your personal choice, why would you choose to be cruel and kill an animal? Meat trade! Meat trade! Freedom for all! Freedom for all!